Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Dia at B5 Designs, and I am back in my craft room doing a face to face tonight. Um, I didn't do a face to face last week because I last week was when I did a bunch of uh, flea market or whatever resale shop stuff and other stuff. So I just did it all out in my dining room, um, handheld. So it's the end of the week. So, you know, my hair is a little messed up. That's okay. Um, so after work, I ran to Target because I had to pick up a prescription and I picked up a couple of things for the upcoming baby shower and so let me show you this is not crafty related but for the baby shower um she chose baby animals as a theme so this is the invitation but i thought this was really cute her sisters are given the shower but i'm kind of picking up stuff to help them out too um they put in that she's registered at amazon and then it says one small request we hope it's not too hard Please bring a book instead of a card. By signing your book, we'll remember and share your special gift even when you're not there. So they had printed those out and we cut them up and stuck them in the card and I, in the invitation, and I thought that was the super cutest thing. I've never heard of that. So if any of you have uh, pending baby showers or whatever that you're gonna be involved in, that's a cute idea. So I picked up this bug and it's called, or this book, it's called Your My Little Cuddle Bug. I'm not gonna read through it, but what I liked about it is it's kind of dimensional. So when the baby gets older, you know, that'll be kind of neat for him. I noticed with my grandson, they started reading to him the day he came home from the hospital. But as he got older and was more interactive, he really liked the, um, books that had texture and, and materials and stuff like that for like, I don't know, small motor skills, sensory type stuff. But he really liked that. And that's how books kind of are. I remember when I was a kid, I had one that was a pull tab and it had a zebra in it. And when you pulled the tab, it would go black and white. So anyway, um, then I picked up this little outfit. She said, um, she's got a lot of the newborn and smaller sizes so she thought she should maybe start on some bigger sizes so I got this is 12 months and it has the, the, the little the little love bug on it this I picked it up at Target but it is just one you made by Carter's and this is 12 months so I think that'll be okay they're not super heavy you know so if it's warmer out or you know a spring day even um, this one is 18 months I don't know. I was in a red mood today, I guess. And then it has the little hearts. And then the other thing I picked up is we have a grandson that will be joining his big brother. So I picked up how to be a big brother and I just thought it would be a fun book for Hudson to have and I'm going to see if his mommy wants to give it to him now so she can be talking about that transition with him or if she would like to wait until baby gets here and then I've been trying to work on the banner which I will do my best to show it it's going to say welcome sweet baby girl so it'll be like welcome sweet baby girl and I'm trying to think of where I can pin it up to show it to you. But anyway, on to Hobby Lobby. I picked up, and you're not probably going to be able to see these, this very well, but it is shelves. And they are from that wood pile collection, I think it's called. And it was only, what is that? $374. And I got three of them, and I got them for my son and daughter-in-law that are having the baby girl he has been wanting to get shelves for in their living room but my he's very particular about color 
and I've been looking and looking and looking and I saw those and I was like these are perfect because he can stain them the color that he wants them and so I thought that was a good idea so I picked up some stuff for the baby shower um, it's we're doing pink and purple with baby animals I was gonna go so I got napkins this stuff was 50% um, off so 50% off of $2.99 I got, I can't believe they're forks. They're only 99 cents. So I got them for 50 cents and there's 40 of them in here and you know, 20 piece. I thought, and they're nice and sturdy. I thought that was great. I normally, I contemplated going to Dollar Tree and I was like, eh, I'm there, they're on sale. So why not? So I got, geez, the pink and purple plates and they were 50% off of $2.99 and of course I had to wander through oh and I did get um, two packages of the baby animal tissue paper I'm gonna go back well next week if they have the well I'll have to do it next week if they have the rolled wrapping paper they have this same design, but it wasn't on sale, so I was like, well, I'll wait and see if it's on sale next week. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I did I have this. I know I have it, but it was on sale, and I love it. So I picked up two sheets of this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but 50% off of $0.69. Cents. I mean, I know that I will eventually end up making an album or something with it, because I just am. Um, this was on sale, 50% off, and I've had my eye on this. I thought it would be tedious to do what I have in mind. It was $4.99, so 50% off, so it was $2.50. But this is the Alpha Letters, and I thought it'd be cute for, like, my grandson Hudson to make a shaker and put all H's in it, or even, you know, H-U-D-S-O-N, you know, multiple times. I thought that, I don't know. Sometimes grandma just has these ideas. So uh, some of this I did not see when they had the kind of the clearance going on in the sticker aisle. Now they've moved it all to the back of the store where they like to put their clearance stuff. So I did pick up this. I might already have this. It is the Stickabilities die cut stickers, eight designs, regularly $4.99. I got it for about $24. This is the girl version. I particularly thought that was cute. I mean, hello, it's all cute. And then I got the boy version. And again, it was on clearance for $1.24. I am going to attempt to make baby calendars like um, uh, Kim at Kimbo Creations does. And so... I thought those would be good. I have two gals at my work that are both expecting, and I know one is having a girl, and I thought, mm, maybe if this goes well for me. It's kind of hard with the baby. The My granddaughter's due September 20th, and I think she'll have it in September, but my grandson, which is her second child, is due September 30th, so I'm kind of like, well, what should I do? Should I, I, I just don't, I don't know if she'll go later or she'll go early, so I'm like, the first page, should I do it in September or October, or should I do two, and, you know, I could do that, I could have two on standby. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I picked up the, again, the same thing, but it is wedding themed. I don't know if I'll have any weddings coming up. Um, but I picked it up anyway, and I picked up this La Petites, and it is kind of faith-based, not kind of, it is faith-based, um, stickers. Sorry for the glare. Oh, and if you hear, like, a humming noise or whatnot in the background, that's my air conditioner. I, my craft room gets really super hot, and we don't have central air anyway, um, but this year because I am spending more time in here. We just put a window air in. Um, our other airs are the, I don't know what you call them, 
there the the new kind that they came out with that are more portable and you just have the small thing in the window instead of the whole big square window air if that makes sense anyway this is going to be a long video i apologize so i got these for a dollar 24 and i picked up this one the bike that was it i was done i had to have it i almost got two um, so this is really cute. I think I have a paper collection, a Jen Hadfield collection that I thought that would go cute with. And then I picked up the mint green bows. I wish they would have had some other colors, but this is okay. And then I got these. I don't think I have these. So of course I'm all about the girl life. Um, so these were 74 cents and I picked up, I'm just like waiting for this to kick me out of here. I saw these. I like these. I like llamas. I just purged a bunch of like llama and mermaid stamps. I shouldn't say just probably three months ago. Anyway, I went down the jewelry aisle. They do have a lot of stuff randomly, um, on clearance. So I picked this up. I thought I would make a cool necklace. It's kind of like shaker it's really pretty it's kind of heavy so i don't know but it'd be cute like on a long chain buck 74 it is the i don't know the gilded age time i don't even know oh jeez then i saw these little animals and they were a dollar 49 so this is like i don't know a porcupine or a hedgehog i think and he probably doesn't look as cute as he is. And gosh, I had to get this like pony, my little pony, or it's not my little pony, but it's just a super cute pony. And I got the little fox. Let's turn it the right way here. I love, that's probably my favorite animal. And again, it was $1.49. So that is it you guys for my little Hobby Lobby Target Friday night around town hall. I do think I might have to run to Michael's tomorrow to get some more paper and if I happen to run into anything else I will certainly share it with you. So that's it guys. Um, probably my next video if it's not on Michael's haul it will be sharing the baby shower banner. Um, and the baby book that I'm making. So I will see you in my next video. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend and happy crafting. Bye.